Hello guys, Sissycott here and welcome back for another tutorial! In the previous episode we did some light with the main and yes, I have changed a few things since last time because I was not happy with the result. So what I have done is actually painting on with white, very small strokes and then smoosh it out and then change it to overlay so let's just go to main here and yeah and also have done some with the edges here so they stick out a little more so <laughs> i'll call them bigger light one bigger light two bigger light three i all have had an normal put i could show it real fast actually not on the horse but on the side of us hopefully <laughs> obviously have it on around 10 not very big strokes just like did this basically and then like smooth them out not with that small brush but i think i've been up to 100 yep like that and then just take them to overlay so they actually got pretty nice fit into the main and added some shadow as well same procedure just with dark like neat 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 wow that sound interesting and then smooshed it out and then but not having overlay on that one i have whoa speaking too fast i have had shadow and hard light instead and then i have changed the fill a little bit so they would fit much better into the main so some changes on the main so yeah what we're gonna do today is the same on the tail basically um also lightening it a bit up uh, as the same we did last time but we will Lighten it up and then add this different lines kind of of light and shadow. We go to the next part, which is the tail. I think I'm actually gonna go a little up when it comes to brush size. I think we're gonna first try 20. That's very much, but yeah, we try. Just gonna go down like this. Same here, actually, and also on the edges, but little smaller ones. Let's see how that this turns out we have it in 100 yep it's actually not easy this particular thing you want to create a line but that not go straight but go with downwards kind of i think it's gonna be a little too big so maybe we need to do it over but with smaller strokes maybe we will see when we turn this to overlay it can be nice but right now it looks horrible <laughs> but it always does before you have the right layer option i don't think it's still layer option it's definitely having another word but yeah i used it obviously last time all right let's see now we have smoothed it out okay yeah let's put this to overlay see how it looks like not bad actually well it turned out better than i thought nice i like when that happens <laughs> okay a little too much white down here but that we could change as well white just stretching them more out all right let's now put down the fill a little bit yeah maybe up a little bit and actually smooth this line a little more up Ooh, looking nice already there now we need to add some shadows so it doesn't look so weird i see like you can see it has a very straight change kind of that we need to change all right so for this part again <laughs> we didn't speed up this part but i will speed up the shadow part so you see very fast how it works but if you have questions let me know now we 
have added some shadow, some light to the tail, and I also added some very small white strokes in the tail here and there. Mm, I don't think we're gonna touch it even more. I have a feeling if I touch it even more, it's gonna be actually not as I want it to be. So we take it for that, um, which means we are to the next step. I think we're actually gonna go for adding more light and shadow to the horse itself, because that's also part of what I do with my edits. So let's head right on to it. I think also here it's very straightforward. I actually gonna use this dark one for like get this I don't know what you're gonna call it corners but muscles and other details of course a little more visible and also lighting and darkening search areas so I'm not gonna go very slow through that I'm also gonna speed paint through that part but yeah it's very straightforward what I do I again go for new layers add different colors I want um, and then first darkening and then lightening up later of course remember always have light and shadow on different layers don't um, have them in the same in the first place but if you want to like smush them into each other you then merge the layers afterwards I always first take them on different layers and then merge them if I want to like smush them get together afterwards so yeah Let's head right over to adding more shadow and light to the horse. details on the muscles here and there and also the details in the face so now I'll try to light up a little bit as well and then we're gonna merge them so they will be smooched a little better together but I will still want to keep some lines here and there I won't like smooch out the light so these lines totally disappear that's not my uh, what should I call it? My goal. So I will try to light up certain areas I see that's natural to have light and then smooch it first out and then see what more need to be like merged and then smooch even more. So next part is the light for the horse. Getting caught in the mist is a man that they'll never get out of. Their feet in the fears and the doubts.
light and shadow to the horse where it feels natural to add it um i'm thinking that i don't want to ma match i've heard about uh merge the shadow lines with the light i'm actually gonna merge the horse itself and the light to kind of smooch it in with the colors that's already there because I don't want to add more darkness to those kind of areas, but I like the lines that it's shadowing, so I will keep them there, so that I can smooch even more out if I want, but I don't want to merge them in into the horse or the lighter areas already. So the lighter areas are actually gonna uh, take together with the horse, so I can smooch them even out more if I want to, but I think the horse is already looking quite good. You see some of the details here and there, but I see more of the light added way more details to the horse and the shadow, actually. So I'm pretty happy with the result here. And we see if we now add the mane as well, it looks very nice. So, and I see the time is actually running away from us, so we will do the uh, merging horse lightning kind of stuff next time. So the light will go even more natural into the horse, even though I think it all already looks okay, though. I see some uh, lines here and there maybe need more smooching. But the light itself actually added more character to the horse, I would say. So, wow, okay, we have reached a long way on a tutorial series here. Um, so next time I will try the merging thing. And also we're gonna begin on the feathers, kind of, on the hooves here. And then we're gonna add, I don't think we're gonna have time for all that in the next episode. Maybe it will be two more episodes, but and after that, then we'll be adding the background, take the background okay, and then we are getting pretty close to the finished result. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, you guys. What do you think about today's episode with adding the light to the tail, but also beginning adding light and shadow to the horse itself? The Frisian horse is actually a little bit easier to work with because of the muscles and the details on the horse is very visible. So I love to work on the Star Stable Creation Horses, actually, the newest one, because of the details on it already. So yeah, again, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Share it with friends and family. Also subscribe to my channel for more videos from horse games, my edits, and of course this tutorial here. And I see you already next week with some new videos from let's see what that will be maybe a question in the game or a taste of red ravine bye <laughs>